Hello! I am Yet4455, and welcome back to our Zoo Tycoon 2 campaign series. So last episode, we completed... Uh, what did we complete? The VIP's mission. So we are going to go on to the Javan... Javan? Rhino, rhinoceros? Which is awesome because it's a rhino. I don't care. Best mission ever. All right, so this one is... Uh, south Location is in Southeast Asia. Rainforest biome. Medium size. Hard difficulty, unfortunately. And we start with $30,000. So this says to use your camera to document the mysterious, critically endangered Javan Rhino. There's just one catch. You can't get too close. I do not remember this episode at all. So let's just jump straight into it. And we'll see what we can do here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I do like this game. <laughs> Got some bears on the cover. Bears doing cool stuff. All right. Uh, the Javan Rhino is one of the most critically endangered animals in the world. Like all rhinos, the Javan Rhino has been widely approached for its horn, and experts estimate that there are fewer than 100 of these magnificent creatures left in the world. Yeah, unfortunately, that is kind of true with rhinos. They are hunted for their horns, and a lot of, like... Some of the white rhinos, I think, have like five left or something. Anyway, uh, conservation of the Javan rhino has been difficult for two reasons. First, zookeepers have had little luck getting Javan rhinos to thrive in zoos. And they have no luck at all getting them to breed in captivity. Second, scientists know very little about the Javan rhino's behavior. The animal is extremely shy and avoids contact with humans. Makes sense. All right, your zoo has attained one of these critically rare animals, these extremely rare animals, and your job is to use your camera to document the Javan rhino's activities. However, these rhinos tend to regard any nearby person on the ground as a threat. To avoid stressing the item, you must take your photos from either a sky tram or an elevated path. Okay, it, it doesn't seem too hard. So I need to get it. I need to get an elevated path over this. Then take a picture of the rhino eating or drinking and a picture of the rhino sleeping. So yeah, let's just go ahead and run it on and let's see what we start with. Okay, so the entrance to the zoo is right there. So that's cool. Um, all right. So let's open up our list here. See what we got. All right. So we got a dromedary camel, a couple Nile crocodiles, a couple Genstock, and of course the Javan rhinoceros. Okay. Cool. Uh, so male, female. You are a male. So we could go ahead and right away just throw in a female dromedary camel in there. Um, Genstock is unable to reach the bull. Yeah. That, it is in a weird spot. I'll go ahead and move those for you. So I agree, like weird spot. And I do have to go through all these exhibits and see what we got going on here. So, all right, so that's the Javelin Rhino. Uh, do I have, who do I have working for me? Nobody, okay, let's fix that. There is a zookeeper and a maintenance worker. Awesome, cool. So that's taken care of. So what else can I do? do um all right so let's start getting these this path in once i get this sky path in i can start focusing on the rental so i don't need to make it tall uh now i gotta remember how to do it right here it is a bridge and we'll kind of oh this is weird um okay rotate nope not far enough okay probably like that yes and then we'll level it out. Like, I really just need it to do, like, just get up there. That's all I need it to do. So now... I don't need to go that zoo, that view yet. Um, So I do need to move these so that they're in a good spot. Oh, it's you're sleeping now. Oh, you are. Picture. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Uh, are you in, like, a weird spot that I can't get a picture of you? Dang it. Alright. Let me exit. Pause. Because I, I need to move this. Because, oh, it's is it still sleeping? No, it's running around now. Dang it. I missed it. Oh, well. We'll get there. So, food. Where was its food dish? Or did I accidentally delete it? 
Uh, oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, grass. I think what I'm going to do... Go ahead and get rid of that. I'll go ahead and give it a food dish. Oh, I can eat branches or berries, too. Yeah, well, you know, we'll give, we'll give you berries. Berries are cool. I like berries. All right, so now that I got that done, I can start going around... Oh, they put some deep water in. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. All right, you got meat, you got water. So let me just make sure everything is in the right exhibit. That North America is not the right place uh, for Nile crocodiles, at the very least. Uh, that plant's good. That plant's good. That plant's good. That plant's good. Good, good. Um, Let's throw in a couple trees. Nope, no trees. Okay, cool. Everything else is good in there. So that works. Um, then I got a scrub, and I could pretty much, almost guarantee, nothing in here is, is right. Yeah, these are so the gemstocks are from Africa. These, of course, are as you can see, are from Australia. Not going to work for educational habitats. Just not going to. Um, shepherd tree is good. It's fine. All of these, though, like prickly pears, are from. South America, in the Galapagos Islands, uh, Australia, Australia, Australia. See, I don't, like, I would just use the delete tool, but, like, I want to keep what is actually part of Africa. So, like, these. Those I want to keep in there. Um, the prickly pear I can get rid of. There we go. Perfect. Animals are doing their thing, having fun. So that's that one. Now I'm just going to look at this desert. This desert one might be kind of weird. So yeah, that's Joshua's trees from North America. That plant's good. Uh, the barrel cactus is not good. That's good. That tree is good. Barrel cactus not. That grass is fine. That's not, and that is not. Perfect. And we got some hay and some more flowers. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. Now I just need to keep track of this rhino. Because yeah, I don't really... I don't think I need to do much else. I might need to, like, purchase... And that would be the only thing I'd have to have to look at. Is um, I might need to purchase its mate. And I believe these things run for, like, $30,000 or something. Something outrageous. So, yeah. So that's just one thing I'm going to have to keep in mind as we go through this. I might need to spend a boatload of money. So I don't want to spend too much in the zoo. And awesome. They already have an ATM for us. They already have a family bathroom. A couple eating places. A couple entertainment items for the kids. But that's pretty much it. There are no benches anywhere. I don't even... Okay, there are a couple trash cans. You're running from the camel for some reason which is odd odd behavior Mr. Rhino they did say that it was scared of a lot of stuff so it kind of makes sense but yeah just waiting for it to do one of these uh, couple of missions I gotta wait for it to eat or drink and sleep I already missed it sleeping because it happened right away and when I put this little bridge in, it did not work. Now you're sitting. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can, like, reset it a little bit. All right, you're just standing now. Oh, you're going to investigate. Now it's investigate eat. You're looking at... Now you're standing. Okay. You did not eat it. Well, I need you to eat the berries. I do enjoy rhinos, though. Rhinos are by far my favorite animal. I mean, this one is not an African rhino, but it's still awesome. Oh, shoot. Now it's grazing. Maybe, maybe I could get it grazing. Is, uh, does grazing count? It's the question. Now you're... Ooh. That was odd. Very odd. So let's go ahead and exit that view. Right, now you're going to go sleep. 
So I get it. I could get a picture of that. Oh. Uh. Okay, it did count. All right, so I like half of half of it was already like half of this bridge was already covering it, but it, you know it, it took it. And I don't really care how the pictures look, as long as it takes the picture. Um, so what I am going to do is I I do have to keep guest happiness up. I am going to put down a few benches around the place. Not many, just one every now and then. Uh, you can't read. Reach the food dish? What? How is that possible? Alright, I'm gonna move it like here. Alright, now you're gonna go eat. Perfect. Ah, shoot. I did it again. Alright, let me pause. Pause that. Alright, play. Come on. I gotta get there before it eats. Perfect. Got it. All right. Your photos of the Javan, Javan rhino engaging in basic behaviors such as eating and sleeping have been very helpful to the biologist studying the animal. You have been asked to take photos of some of the rhino's more advanced behaviors. So once again, you must take these rhinos from a sky tram or elevated path to avoid stressing the animal. The following photos from an elevated path. So take the following photos. Okay, so I need... It using a salt lick, and I need it using a pursuit ball. So I got to get it to one. So, so I got to get my zoo to one star and two stars, respectively. So, oops, as I hit the wrong button. As I still hit the wrong button. Okay, so now we can start focusing more <clears throat> on the animals that we can put in the zoo. So let me just go ahead and refresh these, see what we can get. So I have scrub. African scrub. I have desert and I have a wetland that I cannot do anything else with because they are crocodiles. So crocodiles. So what I'm going to I am going to put an actual food dish in there instead of just this meat tray. I'm going to put a food dish of meat. That's fine. Then we got a water dish. So now they can use that. All right, so I just got to get my zoo rating up. And how's the best way to go about doing that? Um, guest happiness, animal happiness, yada, yada, yada. So I think I do have to keep all these trees in here for now. Although a lot of them are from Asia. Because this animal is from Asia. So there are quite a few trees that I could keep. Um, but the orchard tree, nope. Um, banana tree, yes, banana tree's fine. Uh, elephant ear tree, nope. So yeah, no, it's just about making sure African violets, no. Uh, making sure that the habitat is educational, M meaning that um, everything in it is from the sa is from the region of the animal. So a lot of these African violets are not. Um, this toadstools is from South America, so that won't work. Uh, the banana tree I already said was fine. Yeah, I think everything else is good. Uh, almost everything. I've got a few African violets to get rid of still. There we are. I think all these are good. Jungle lilies. Yep. Nope, everything else is from Asia. So cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to delete too much. Which, which works. Alright, so... Yeah, I got my donation boxes out. Uh, I could stand to put a few more out there. Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll put one over here, right by the water. And I think we'll put one on this side. There we are. Awesome. All right. Animal expansion. I need to get the star, the zoo, up to at least one star so I can start working on our next photos, which is, of course, taking... Picture of the rhino using the salt lick and taking a picture of the rhino using the pursuit ball. So I gotta get the zoo fam up. How do I go about doing that? Um, I can make another wetland exhibit. Um, I can build it off of this one. 
Maybe put it like right here. But then I could put flamingos in there as well. So let's kind of smooth smooth out this terrain. Flatten smooth, brush size up. Or no, it's probably this one. Right? Yep, there it is. Go ahead and start preparing this area for a new exhibit. Get our delete tool, delete all this stuff that is not going to be a part of that exhibit. Get some money back for our efforts. There we are. A few more trees. Perfect. All right. African buffalo. What do we got here? Uh, we could use this low rail fence. So I'll run it out to there. Mm. Like, how big do I make this? Maybe, maybe just something like that, and then I could share this fence with something else. Like, I don't need to make this terribly big. And I do have to keep in mind, I do have to save some money. Because I'm, I'm almost positive. I am almost positive that I am going to have to buy this thing's mate. And that's going to cost a lot of money. All right, we're at one star. Awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this out. All right, cool. And then we'll put in a little bit of water in the front. Some branches here. Um, I'm not going to worry about decorating this yet. I just want to get the animals in place. And make sure the zookeeper can get in and out of it. So put the gate over there. Cool. So the first thing I got to do, I got to get the salt lick. So I could get that researched and placed in this exhibit. And then I could take pictures of the animal using it. So now I could start placing some trees in here. Something I think like that will work. Um, yeah, we'll put, we'll put in some, some brushes or some bushes. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Um, guest happiness now. How's that looking? Still not good, but the educational habitats is, is on the rise. Animal happiness is on the rise as well. That it will take a minute, but it'll get there. So really, I just got to focus on guest happiness. Number of animals could stand to be higher. Number of species could stand to be higher. Uh, let's go ahead and try... Oh, I got the spurred African tortoise. I can put those in. And I got the horn. So yeah, I could really um, finish up my desert exhibit. I could probably exp could probably do expanding it out too. Ooh, yeah. There's a l big area I could put it in. Like I could expand it out to here. All right. There's the salt lick. Put that in here. Probably right there. Now, where did this rhino run off to? Up oh, there you are. Yeah, people sound happy. If they sound happy, they probably are happy. So right now you're standing. Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and give you a quick little move because maybe you'll use the salt lick now. Going to look at the salt lick. Now you're standing again. I need you to use the salt lick. Oh, those are told stools. Don't need those in there. Grazing again. Come on, use the salt lick. Can you use the salt lick? Yeah, you can. It also has a scratching post, but I need to pursue ball. It's the next thing I need. So now it's just waiting for the for the animal to do the thing. Use the salt lick. Use the salt lick. 
You know you want to. Still taking a while to do it, though. All right, educational habitats, almost at 100%. So we are on the right path with that. And it's probably because I... So I probably am missing something. Um, possibly these African violets that it's escaped me. So we will double check our educational habitats in a little bit. And it probably is going to be at 100% soon. Once it, once it has an opportunity to recalculate, I should have my educational habitats at 100%. Which is the reason I go around looking at all of these bloody plants and trees to make sure they all fit the biome. Alright, are you going to use a salt lick yet? Yes, you are. Ah, I did it again. Bastard. Alright. Gotta get a picture of it. Using the salt lick. I wish it would run faster up this hill. There we go. Got it. So now I just need a picture of it using the pursuit ball. Which for that, I need the zoo with the two stars. Unfortunately, only have it at one. So, yep. Like I said, get rid of the African violets. How that exhibit educational habitats fully maxed. Animal happiness is on the rise. A little bit more. And it'll get there. So now's the question. Can I duplicate this fence at one star? The answer is no. So what fences can I use? Um, let's take a look at the camel. Um, chain link. What fence is this? Tropical rainforest. Desert fence I could use. I really just want it to run out to this fence here. And I think I'm going to do it I think I'm going to do it cheaply as well. Chain link fence. Yeah, I just need it to run out to there. Kind of expand it out a little bit. Uh, same thing over here. I just want to increase this because I'm going to be putting in a couple more animals just to get the number of animals up. So let's go ahead and make that desert. There we are. And we'll de delete all that fencing I no longer need. Perfect. And then I could put in the horned onyx. Now crocodile is pregnant. That's awesome. That's always good news. And then I could put in the spurred tortoise. There we are. Uh, I got a mail. Yep. Perfect. Um, everything is it. Um, just need to make sure I got food for all of these guys. Go ahead and throw a couple more food and water dishes around the place. And then I got to add lettuce for these guys because they are lettuce eaters. Perfect. So there's some more animals, and I'm now at a star and a half. And now I think I really got to start saving the money. I think I just got to let everything um, increase on its own here. I think I got to let guest happiness rise on its own. And I think once animal happiness hits near full, I think that's when um, I should be able to get two stars. Um, but having that privacy need at full is uh, not good. Do, 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 do. How are you guys doing over here? I already checked your exhibit. Your exhibit is fine. Um, I should also consider hiring another. Oh, I have a fountain to take care of fun. I was wondering what I'd ha have for that. I should consider hiring another zookeeper. And I probably need a few more trash cans. There just doesn't seem to be enough here. So I'll throw a trash can on either side with a recycle bin on either side. Something like that. Um, I don't have many options when it comes to picnic tables, but we'll just kind of throw these generic ones in there. That'll be fine. Something like that. Give people a few more places and options to sit and eat. Then I have a hamburger stand and a water drink stand. I think I'm going to throw us in a water stand here. This is just taking care of guest happiness at this point. Oh, and I th could throw in a gift cart. Gift carts are always good. Get people to buy some souvenirs. So we'll throw that there. And I'm going to need a snack cart as well. So, soda drink stand. 
Give him another drink option. Uh, that's a hamburger stand, so I'll throw in a hot dog stand, too. I thought my zoo was already at a star and a half. And then I'll throw in a snack cart on that side there. So that will take care of that. Um, you're going to use the bathroom. Yeah, everything looks... Everyone seems pretty happy. I think that will make them happier. Now that I got that stuff out. So, yeah, we just got to wait for everything to uh, to increase here. Um, I can throw in some enrichment items, though. So, I th believe you guys can use the salt lick. So, I'll throw the salt lick right there. Um, can you guys use a salt lick? Yes. Wow, you guys were angry. All right, I'll throw that in there. Um, the crocodiles, though. You, you don't really have enrichment items yet, so I'm going to have to hold off on you guys. Which is unfortunate. And then this. Uh, they can These guys can use salt lick. What about the other guys? Yes, you can. Perfect. And then you want pursuit ball. Which we can make happen. Cool. So I got enrichment items out in all the exhibits. So that should help to take care of the entertaining animals. Animal happiness is currently on the rise. So yeah, everything's starting to look up. We're almost there, I feel. We're almost there to being a two-star zoo. All right, someone just has a I am angry face on. Why are you angry? Dessert carts. You have a dessert cart. I mean, I guess I could um, put in an ice cream cart. Ooh, cotton candy. Let's do cotton candy. I think a cotton candy cart would work fine. All right, you're buying a pretzel. And the, yeah, and a lot of people have already bought gift cards. Or have bought stuff from this gift card. In which they have all these options. Which is sweet. Very sweet. All right. Uh, go ahead and refresh this. See what we can get. Oh, Galapagos giant tortoise. That's cool. I have not started a savannah exhibit, and I don't think I'm going to do that in this one. I think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to see what happens and not do it. I think we're going to take a different path. Uh, what are you angry about? Going to sit, what are you angry about? Dessert carts. Okay. Cotton candy. You're in. Get in there. Make people happy. Do your thing. I could delete these picnic tables and throw in a few more picnic tables on the other side. But I think what we got now is fine. It'll do its thing. It'll be fine. Hmm. I'm really not happy with any of these animals I'm getting. Really not. Okay, what's wrong with you? You're hungry... I mean, to be fair, the food is way over here. So let me just throw you in here. Like you're complaining about being hungry and thirsty. And then like it is a long way to walk to there. And I should probably throw in another bathroom toward the entrance of the zoo. Just something like that. That will work nicely. Come on, two stars. I want to get this. I would like to get this second photo before the end of the episode. Right, the crocodile is going to go lay an egg. Like, that's my goal. Like, uh, So if it happens in a couple of minutes, that would be sweet. But it's a guest happy. Uh, they're on the rise. I think if I get another animal in. I think if I get another exhibit, I think it might be okay. But there's really... Nile monitor, crocodile laid an egg. I already have that. Emperor penguin, maybe. Penguins are cool. 
Uh, we're almost at the end of the second month already. Wow. Why? How? Why? Where? Oh, because they're all empty. Shoot. All right. Yep. I am going to need to hire another zookeeper because the water dishes were totally empty. So, yeah, I got to get another zookeeper in here. And I should probably start assigning them. So I get that one. So they're both going to take care of the javelin. Rhino. Alright, you're going to take care of this exhibit, this exhibit, this exhibit. Yeah, it's just, the zoo's too big. It's just too big for one zoo keeper to handle. So yeah, I, got, I, I had to bite the bullet and buy two. You're going to buy a hamburger. Yeah, I mean... Everyone has food, so. And people do like the cotton candy, I think, over the pretzels, so. That works. What's wrong with you? Uh, it has dessert carts. Thank you very much. Mm, guess happiness took a dive. Animal happiness took a dive a little bit. It's a lot of... Man, these zookeepers are not keeping up. Yeah, let's go out and give him a little hand. There we are. I have a gate in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, there is a gate. I mean, there's gates. Like, they could do their thing. Let's go ahead and replenish that really quick. Clean up the poop. Water dish is fine. What are you... What are you doing in there? Oh, there are fish in there. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, everything's looking up. We just need to get this zoo to two stars. I don't know. Animal happiness is almost there now. Guest happiness kind of fell off a little bit. Let me go ahead and refresh these so we can get. As much as I don't want to put a Savannah exhibit in, I think I kind of have to. Hmm. It's unfortunate, but I think I have to. African Buffalo is not pregnant. That's a good sign. Thompson's Gazelle got more scrubs, scrub animals. Bart's Taper. Yeah, I, I, we're almost at two stars. But guest happiness kind of took a dive, so it's going to take a little bit for that to recover. But I think I'm going to call that an episode here, guys. So if you liked what you watched, please consider giving this video a like. And also don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't done so already. And, you know, also give me a comment. A few of you have been commenting on my videos already. So to, please keep those comments coming. I really appreciate them. And I, I love interacting with you guys. So, yeah, I am yet 4455. Thank you for watching.